What's up guys, Jokes to Kills here. I'm here with some more zombie gameplay and this is my first survival gameplay for farm and uh this is not the first time I played farm and so far my highest on farm by myself was twenty seven. That was my last game. Well at least my f one of my first games I played. I didn't put that video up and I just found out after a while that the other lobby gets rid of some of the videos. Like they do in multiplayer, so uh I lost a few but um good thing I got better. I got I finally get to thirty in this one. Thirty two beat my record and I finally get my first map in Black Ops 2 to 30 and if you don't know already that's one of my averages basically in zombies and that's basically where the average runarounds I want to make in every single map and I basically did that in almost every map and so far this was my first try like in a while so I'm actually kind of happy that it did good I did better than I did in town but town's supposed to be easier for some reason like if you don't know already, the town is usually supposed to be easier since it has the pack-a-punch and perks. This is supposed to be a little harder since there's no pack-a-punch and only perks. And uh, Bus Depot is basically the hardest because there's no perks and no pack-a-punch. So, uh, let's see what happens. Hell, I even did better in freaking Bus Depot than I did in town. And uh, if you guys want to check that out, just check out all my other videos. And like and subscribe to keep up with more videos. And I'm still trying to do that goddamn Easter egg. Just me and my friends, we haven't been really paying attention to that kind of shit lately. I'm going to try to remind them on Friday so we can get that done with. But if you guys actually want to do the Easter egg with me, if you guys want to bother with that, just uh, look me up. I'm Jokes to Kill is basically the same name I have in my gamer tag, except for no three. I just put an E. And uh, just look me up on Xbox Live so we can try that out. Because I really do need people, and I guess I can have dedicated people who would actually, if we got down, we would do it again. Not, like, get down and say, I'm going to take a break, and then have, like, about a week break, and not even try doing it. And I need some people that I can actually play and not get down every second. I'm, my friends aren't really like that, but they get down occasionally. And there's at least two people that are good, or two or three people that are good, and there's one person that actually brings the whole team down. And that kind of fucks up everything, so I need at least three good people. Remember, guys, just comment if you guys want to, you know, join a game, you know. Just, I'll add you on my friends list. We can try it out and uh, see what happens. I uh, Hopefully, we can do that Easter egg finally. I just want to do it. And I'm, I'm actually working on, as we speak right now, a special video that I want to work on. I'm not going to give out anything, but I love my special videos, and I love keeping them secret. And I'm trying to work on it right now. I'm actually doing it as we, sp well, as I'm talking. And um, I'm almost done with the first one. It's going to be a series of videos, so it'll be out around, I'm actually going to say this right now, where I'm planning to put this video out. I'm planning to put it out at least a month from now, on December 21st. For you people who already know, that's the end of the world, uh, supposedly. And if the world doesn't end, you can check that video out. And to keep up to date with that shit, it's going to be zombie related, and Call of Duty is a Black Ops 2 zombie related. So hopefully just keep up to date with that shit. And uh, like and subscribe. And I'm sorry, it's not going to be a full c commentary kind of thing, because if you guys don't know already, I really don't do that many full commentaries for zombies. I usually do that for the older zombie videos. I didn't do that much for these, because I just want to put these videos out for you guys to watch them, because I know a lot of people love that, love seeing me get to high rounds, love seeing all these videos, and uh, I understand that. I understand that definitely, and I hopefully I can get a little higher. Hell, I want to make it to 40, and I've seen a lot of people get to 40s and shit in Nuketown. I want to make it to 30 in Nuketown, and hell, I plan to do that. I plan on doing that. And it's not even hard, that's the thing, it's not hard. It's just, uh, especially in Nuketown zombies, if you guys don't already know, the perks drop from the sky, which kind of fucks everything up in the way, like, it's random. Like, like in Chino Numa, I, I'm not good in Chino Numa. I can admit that right now. The la the last time I put up a Chino Numa gameplay was the a couple hours before Black Ops 2 came out, and basically that I put out like a, the original Chino Numa and the remake of Chino Numa for Black Ops, and in both of them I only well in the ori the original Chino Numa I actually made it to 30, but in the old version I can't make it to 30. But uh, that's the thing; it's just kind of hard because the perks are so random. That's the only thing that fucks everything up. Random perks I fucking hate, like. Uh, like the idea, like I'm, um, uh, usually in Shino Numa, the perks land, like the Juggernaug is the main perk I have to get, especially in the original version, because you know, uh, if you get a quick revive, it doesn't bring you back up. If you get down, you get down, and that's it. You can't get back up, and yeah, so it's a little harder. So that's the thing. You have to look for all the perks, and you you just pray to get Juggernaug, or at least pray to get something good, 
because in my last gameplay for Nuketown, I actually had to survive up to like over 25 rounds, I, I'm guessing 25 rounds, to get Juggernaug. And really, it took me a long ass time. I got down like about twice, and I wasn't even thinking I was going to get, you know, Juggernaug or anything. And, uh, you know, I just noticed, this might actually, I might make this a full commentary, or maybe at least a half commentary. Because I'm doing this, and I kind of get bored just sitting here doing this work. Basically, I'm just going to give you a hint of what I'm doing. It's basically, like I said before, zombies. And um, I'm going to take some clips from this video to make the first video. It's going to be a series. And uh, hopefully, I can, hopefully I can definitely get a lot of views for this. And uh, what I noticed, not a lot of people make videos for zombies related to what kind of video this is. I'm not going to really give away that much stuff yet. But hopefully I can put out a little trailer soon. My friends, One of my friends who's really good in editing can, said he can help me so we can get this on, get this out, and make it look really, really good. So let's see what happens. And hopefully I can definitely put that out soon. I'm about to get my 50th subscriber. I, like, I'm kind of excited about that. And I know it doesn't seem like a big thing for most YouTubers because usually some one of my friends, he got a lot of subscribers, but for a certain reason. I don't know. Like... Like, seriously, he knows some people, like, really good gamers, and I guess that's the reason, basically, why he gets a lot of subscribers. Me, I put out these videos. I'm not really... It's basically how it is. Like, if you know the people, if you got connections, then you have a better chance of getting known, well-known on YouTube. And if you have no connections at all, and you're just a random gamer who just wants to start putting out videos for other people, you really get shit. Like, I'm not saying you guys are shit. I'm thankful for you guys, because, really, you're helping me. I tell you the truth, at one point, uh at least a w couple months ago, like about seven, I guess, like during the beginning of the year, I actually was thinking of just stopping. But um, I don't really give up that easily. That's not how I am. That's not how I roll. So I'm just going to keep on going until until there's like no, like, you know, until it ends. And I hopefully it never ends. And I really do enjoy this. It's a great thing, a great feeling of you guys saying thank you for the video. That actually really helps me out a lot. It makes me feel really good. That's like, it makes this hobby way, way better. Like, it's not the only hobby I got. I got other hobbies, like running, I got, I'm in track in my school, I work out a lot, and, you know, I enjoy writing, so, yeah, that kind of stuff. And this, that actually makes me really happy that you guys enjoy and are thankful for these videos. Thank you guys, I have to say, really thank you. I really appreciate this stuff and your support. And, uh, you know, like I said before, just look me up if you guys want to play. Because, uh, really, I, uh, I play with my friends, like, a lot of people look me up from YouTube. I play with them. And no problem. Just send me messages. Sometimes I won't respond because I'm usually doing something. Like, uh, sometimes I have my moments when I just need to think about something. Or something, you know, something personal. Kind of little stuff. But I'll definitely play with you guys. And I also have to think of putting on multiplayer gameplay. Because I really don't do that much anymore. Because back in Mono for 3, I would put out a lot of multiplayer. More than I do with, uh, you know, survival. I remember survival. I was crazy about the survival when it came out. Basically, for whatever Call of Duty puts out a co like a co-op, I usually want say to myself, I have to make high rounds. I usually do, but like seriously, survival was kind of a pain in the ass when it first came out. Um, you know, I'm doing more talking than I'm actually working on this video, like uh, the next video, you know, the secret video, special video I'm trying to put out. But uh, yeah, basically, uh, survival was kind of a pain in the ass at towards the end, and Modern Warfare 3 was okay, like, uh, but yeah, it could have been better. I wonder what the next Call of Duty is going to be. Tell you the truth, I actually hope Call of Duty ends at some point because th think about it. Come on over it for it, it's not a good idea. Like seriously, they should have ended. They en they killed off one of the main characters, and he's been the main character since Call of Duty Four, before he even had a like a voice actor for him. And then really, it kind of fucked up. Like he died in a fucked up way, but still, whatever. It kind of ends. It kind of sucks, so that's when I noticed. They kill off a lot of fucking main, uh, you know, protagonists from the series. Like, uh, they killed off uh, the, guy, the main character from the Russian uh, campaign from World at War and Black Ops. They killed off uh, Soap from Modern Warfare 1, Modern Warfare 2, and I guess Modern Warfare 3. And seriously, they do that a lot in Modern Warfare series. And uh, I wonder what they're going to head to next if they put out the last Call of Duty. Oh yeah, if you guys don't notice, uh, well you should notice that there's a little lag. Sorry about that PVR problems again. I don't know why, it just always happens for some reason. And finally, I make it to number 30. I was so excited. Awesome. I spazzing out. 
like it was great that I made it to 30 because uh you know it, that's my basic kind of shit so yeah hope you enjoyed anyway I'm just gonna stop this commentary short hope you enjoy the rest of the video guys and uh like subscribe uh, I'm gonna be putting out more videos definitely Nuketown videos and enjoy the video rest of the video like subscribe and uh see you guys later and good night